I'm Pepper J, publisher of The Actors Reporter, and welcome to The Trade Vine. Your host, the beautiful Danica Quinn, is in Las Vegas, singing and probably melting the mic. MGM has a new hotel there called Aria, and Danica says it's gorgeous. Las Vegas is going to have a good New Year's Eve with Danica there at the mic. Here at the Trade Vine, I scour the entertainment trades every week to try to find entertainment articles that you might have missed. Articles from the Daily Variety, Hollywood Reporter, Backstage, and other fine industry trades. You should keep up with those trades. I encourage it. And they're all free online. Let's look at the first one. Daily Variety, Monday, December 29th, Designer Sculpt Sculpt. Avatar Beasts by David S. Cohen. There's a new profession called concept designer. Now Neville Page, who was the lead creature designer on Avatar, was also the concept designer and creature designer on Star Trek. It's a designer who imagines things, things that you and I really never see in real life. And for you techies out there, Neville Page relies on a software called ZBrush. Interestingly enough, Page says that once he works on the creatures in Avatar, he actually gets a commitment with them. And I think you will too. It's Avatar and it's a movie that I don't think you should miss. Next, also in the Daily Variety, Tuesday, December 30th, 2009, there's an article called Lion Braces for Bidding by Dave McNary. It's right here. Now, did you know that MGM might be up for sale? Now, it's not given that it's going to be for sale, but MGM didn't do very well in 2009. They only released one movie, which was like a revamp of fame, and it didn't do so well. So if you're interested in purchasing MGM, its assets include a 4,000 title library, the logo, the United Artist Operations, rights to the James Bond and Pink Panther Enterprises, and half ownership in the new Hobbit movies. The price is expected to be somewhere between $1.5 billion and $2 billion, that's billion with a B, dollars. Pocket change. I think I'll go down and place my bid today. Backstage, which I don't have in front of me because it's only online during the holidays, online free I might mention, December 30th has an advice section called what do you expect from actors? And it's by Sarah Kuhn. And they asked the directors, and famous director An Lee said, I think being available is very important. Sometimes you have to dial yourself down to zero so you can be available for the character, for the director's directions, and for the scene to happen. And James Mottern, the director of Trekker adds, when actors show up on the set, I want them to be prepared to allow themselves to be completely naked in their emotionality. I want them to feel that although I as the director have certain ideas about the character, they themselves are on a journey to find the core of that character and they're in search of discovery of the greater truth they can share with me. I'm just the map maker. Good stuff. Now, The Hollywood Reporter Online, December 20th, says Susan Boyle continues to reign the chart by Keith Caulfield. Susan Boyle, you remember her from the British, I think you have talent? Well, she came out on number one. I Dreamed a Dream is her song, and Billboard's 200 chart, she's number one for the fifth six consecutive week. She sold more than 510,000 copies, according to Nielsen SoundScan. So thank you for joining me for the last Trade Vine of the year, 2009. I'm Pepper J, the publisher of Actors Reporter, and you heard it through the Trade Vine. Bye.